Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome to another Hegan Aerotail video. Alright, so now that the game is officially launched, let's talk about a couple of things. Preferably re-roll and also tier list. Uh, hopefully give you guys the best idea to get a head start on your account and hopefully try to get the best out of getting the strongest characters in the game etc. First things first, the game doesn't have a guest account as of the time of me making this video. There's no guest account on official launch. So how do you reroll then? You gotta use multiple emails or you can use multi instance. Now before we start off, there's two coupon codes as far as I know right now. Uh, one is he gacha gaming, one more is team meows ss. All right, so you can use this uh, once you have rerolled. Uh, it doesn't give you enough to basically do much, but still good enough. So here's a trick that I've been doing in my stream earlier today. So basically, one email, one Gmail, you can basically play on multiple server. All right, it's not tied to one server, so you can use one same email for either APEC, NA, or Vanguard. So essentially, if you don't really care about the server that you play, you can either you can sort of reroll three times, which is what I was doing. Uh, whichever account that you get the better one, uh, I I was going to stick with that, right? And you can also use the same particular Gmail to make a Billy Billy account which is very simple and straightforward. Let me show you how you guys can do it. Now, first things first, I need to log out from this account. So let me log out, go here, go to user center on the top, uh, right, as you guys can see, and then just press log out for the time being. Okay, so now this is the main homepage that uh, you should be able to log in to your, uh, to your game. So you can see, uh, there's an option to go for this one, Billy Billy account, account login. You can click on this one, and you can basically press sign up and just make a new email using the same Gmail that you use on this particular one. So basically, if you have one email, you will be able to reroll six times, ideally. But as far as I know, on Vanguard, it seems to be full. So uh, you can do it four times per se, but make sure you go to the email, uh, just follow the steps, all right? They will send you a verification link. Just click on that to verify ETC. Now, of course, one more method that you can use is using multi-instance for example right now i'm using ld player multi-instance and uh, you can also use this to reroll if you want to by the way this video is sponsored by ld player now if you guys are not familiar with what ld player is ld player is basically an android emulator that allows you to play any android or ios games on pc so it's an emulator that emulates the experience of what you have on your mobile phone to a PC experience or a PC gaming experience which gives you better controls. You can also use macros if you want to and playing it on the wide screen definitely gives you an advantage depending on what games you play, right? So if you want to use it on LD player multi-instance, basically you already have one that's running. You just need to clone that particular one uh, and make multiple clones uh, with that same email. From there, you can just pick and choose depending on which account you want. So yeah, I'll have my referral link in the description below if you guys are interested. With that being said, let's jump into the video and let's talk about a few characters that you want to take note of in terms of re-rolling. Alright, so this is my soft launch account. Now, I've been playing this for almost a month now right so let's talk a little bit about the roster uh the characters which one ideally would be the best fit uh if you guys are looking in the tier list there's this one particular tier list that i've been referencing uh, i'll link it to you guys so this is the aerotel wiki tier list now uh, ideally a lot of characters that they perhaps may be weak early on but they might perhaps get strong later on in the late game something to always keep in mind now, in terms of who you want to reroll, I would say Eluya is going to be the best one if you're looking for DPS. But if you do not get Eluya, I don't think it's that big of a deal because everybody do get Medea early on. Now, uh, I know they are a little bit different because Eluya is much more of an assassin class, whereas Medea is much more of a caster class. Uh, they are both really, really strong. But the truth is, you don't need so many damage dealers in your team. Like two damage dealers or even one is more than sufficient enough. And then you have multiple of the uh, tank class to hopefully be able to soak damage for you. And then ideally, you want to try to get a healer along the way. So if you're looking at the reroll, uh, looking at the beginner's banner, you ideally want to get Eluya because her banner is right there. And also, you want to be able to obtain Jildan from the other guaranteed SSR at 20 pool banner. That one you want to try to obtain Jildan. Now Jildan is really really strong. She's probably one of the strongest. Uh, let's see if I can find her in this list. As you can see right here in this list, they rate her as max potential at tier 0. Which is the strongest class. Uh, PvP is also tier 0. In auto, she's a bit of tier 3. 
But other than that, you can see a lot of potential for sure, right? So highly recommend if you can get Jilden as your tank, which is right now one of my main tank in this game. Uh, I do highly recommend her as well. She's very, very solid overall. Now, this is going to be the best two combo, either Iluya Jilden, or if you don't think you can get Iluya Jilden, or Iluya is kind of hard to <laughs> be able to obtain, I've been trying my best to try to get her. You can try to get a uh, Nuno Jilden is also not bad. Nuno is a decent uh, healer or either that you can try to obtain Leaf as the healer as well. So hopefully that those are the characters that uh, you know, hopefully you'll be able to obtain. I do think that Iluya and Jilden is going to be way easier to obtain for a lot of players. Now Medea is a very very strong solid DPS caster. I uh, highly recommend you guys to build her. Uh, she's a light type as well so that means she doesn't have much uh, elemental disadvantage going on for her right uh, in terms of the element. She's only weak against the dark type. So I do think she's someone that you will have to consider building for sure. Uh, I have been pouring a lot of investments into mine. You can see currently at level 70 on my soft launch account and I've never regretted building her at all. Uh, she's probably the best DPS character that you can get for free. Uh, if you don't have Iluya, like I said, she's going to be the best DPS substitute uh, to be able to help you out in progression. Now building characters are going to be quite expensive early on, definitely uh, consider just focus on either 4 or 5 characters early on uh, instead of splitting out your resources because stamina is going to be an issue, especially for a lot of players if you are free to play and if you're not willing to spend your hard earned premium currency to refresh that is going to take very very long as well. So one thing to keep in mind, right? Now in terms of the method to reroll, basically it's very simple and straightforward. All you need to do is wait for the Ume where you basically can uh, do the interrupt test. All right, once you reach this part of the tutorial, just uh, exit afterwards, all right, just back out and then go all the way to the mailbox, claim everything in the mailbox and then just do your rolls from there in the wish section. All right, so as you can see, wish me luck. <laughs> Yo! Yo! We got a yellow! That means life has changed. Next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. Next one. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Eee! Motet Suju! Motet, worst character in the game! Uh, obviously, you want to do. Iluya banner first, 20 pulls, and then do the other 20 pulls in the guaranteed beginner banner. Hopefully you get Jilden from there. So that's just ideally what I think overall. But hey, again, uh, there's plenty of characters. I don't think that all the characters are very strong and very, very usable. Some characters like Siamkom apparently will be stronger later on, in, as in like late game, as opposed to early on. But that's something that you have to decide whether or not you want to be pulling for each of these individual characters. But yeah, feel free to look at the tier list. I'll link this in the description below so you guys can check it out as well. As always, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.